the music at the Creek Mall Kids Club. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and now I'm bringing it back to life. I am. I I know. It's a Yeah. <laughs> 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 
to Newcastlevania, we have the wonderful, wonderful Kirin and Peli Lover. Stars? How are we? Yeah. Do you want to make look good? I'm playing It seems like my microphone is peaking. All right, let's fix that. <laughs> let's turn that down just a little bit. All right. Woo. How are we sounding? Are we sounding 
Very loud, are we sounding good? Should I turn it down a bit? What are we saying, chat? Huh? Uh, yeah? You wanna come in? You sound you sound great, King, maybe a little louder. Maybe a little louder. Alright then. Oh we have no cam. Shit. Alright then, fair enough. Alright. All right, we are sounding good. We have got King K. Rule represented by X Belly Lover. With Jewel of the Fate, we are going to get DMCA'd. <laughs> Turn it up. Get some speakers. I don't know. Ah, I see. <laughs> you can thank your man for that. It's because Anakin Steam is impossible to lose. It's impossible to lose. It's so difficult. Fuck, man. Alright. Alright, we've got. What are we going for? I see. It's all from the anime, what are you on about? Oh, Dragon Ball. Huh? Why have I got that? Because I'm not allowed, I guess. Never mind. Never mind. Alright, so do a bit of a bit of a switch about. We have got X Pelly Lover Player One representing with King Kenneth Rule against Kirin playing Sephiroth. Alright, here we go. Standing game one. We are standing on PS2, the tried, the true, the classic PS2 mega the best games. Alright, here we go. Starting off already uh, controlling his neutral with the projectile. Starting off pretty good and Kirin is just going to have to uh, figure out the timings for this because uh, if there's one thing Evan's really good at is mixing it up very well. Gets the jab and he's back off stage. What does he do for the lead trap? He's just shooting the projectiles, but you can't get through, uses the suction once again, and cool, Kieran's already at 68. And uh, it's looking pretty dangerous right now. Oh, most of the Optus last. Maybe trying to catch him from the recovery of the Blunderbluss, but doesn't he get it? Ooh, I thought he might vest it there, maybe a bit too low, but with Wing, it is a done deal. He makes it back and now takes the advantage when he's on stage. Oh, I love that up smash, but Evan was ready and manages to, uh, manages to air dodge out of it. Is this going to be a kill? Oh, still a little, a little bit too stale. Okay, what are we going for? Gets through the ledge trap with the uh, uh, the jump up be there. I don't know the name of it, so <laughs> I will not, will not try. Goes for a very good best option there with the dash attack and does take that stock very early uh, for the for the kind of match that we're in. <laughs> we are one minute in, but does manage to get it. Oh, I like it. Another juggle there with the projectile. It's already at 36. Evan kind of uh, he's kind of on point right now. He's playing pretty hot. I like it. Kieran there, we played a bit of friendlies, I gave him a bit of advice, he's uh, hopefully he takes it on guard and the nerves don't get to him. Nice use of that there, he uses the fair to make sure that the cannonball doesn't get hit and calls out the landing with the F smash. And this is not a bad, uh, not a bad deficit, he does have wings so damage can be wrapped up pretty quickly but the zone that Evan's putting in is amazing and once again calls out the option from ledge with the back air and that is such a big lead right now. And again, he's just going, he's just going to town, he's just taking this. And he doesn't want to stop. He wants this momentum. Nice use of the crown there. Given the respect for the Octo Slash, you know, that Octo Slash kind of means that it kind of deserves. <laughs> Very nice catch there. Was uh, trying to air dodge through it to make sure he didn't get hit, but the the Shadow Flare made sure that he did not get hit. Okay. okay. De decent DI, decent DI did not die early there. Oh, I love the use of the belly armor. Can Kieran make it back? He does. Get it down tilt. Oh, but another aggressive option there from Evan. I don't think Kieran's caught on. That is going to uh, interrupt his advantage there. And now, okay, a bit of a roll reversal. He goes for the F tilt, goes for a down smash. He wants to get rid of the stock. 
He's using it pretty well, but gave him too much respect. Did not DI that, di that correctly. And X Pelly Lover is one game up. Very nice. Remember, Yoshi's doesn't exist for using the KO one, so it's Hollow Bastion. Yeah. Wait, yeah. so Wait, Wait, Wait did you tell people, by the way, that yeah, it's Hollow Bastion, not Yoshi's? Oh, it's not Yoshi's. Yeah, I thought it was. No, I thought it was. I got worried. No, but not for you. No, 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 Okay, so, game one, Pel X Pelly Lover wasn't the worst kind of showing from Kieran, but um, maybe did not know how to break the zone that Evan was doing. He decided to pick environmental noises. I literally added 270 songs to this uh, music pack, and he's decided to grief me. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Okay, alright, so, we do have another pick, we do have the DDD on deck. Alright, so, can you take a hit? <laughs> alright, so we're seeing it now, game, game one did go to Pally Lover, and now he is going to the DDD. And uh, we're going, we're going to Smashville. Um, kind of an interesting pick. Um, I was thinking maybe, maybe he does want to control the stage a little bit more. He does have that long sword. He does have the tilt, the damage. He does have it all on this stage, especially because it's so small. But we do see the switch to DDD. He did ask if it was fine if we could still go to Smashville if he wanted to change his bands. But we are. Uh, we are, in fact, staying on Smashville. Oh, that is a bad miss and put, and he does make it back with all of those jumps. That's a damn shame. But Sephiroth is a character that can make us back, and Kieran is a player who can definitely take these advantages. Uh, nice to see you, Griff. Hopefully you're doing well. Um, we are signing off with... Um, with a, actually, I'm, I've been loving this set, actually. Um, seeing the improvement of Kieran has been pretty good, even in this set alone. Unfortunately, because of the SD, it is a bit shaky, and he's kind of just running into this... This, uh, this kind of wall that Evan's setting up, and this is, again, it's just a bit of a tricky situation. He's got to make up a lot of lost ground. He does have wing, but again, it's at the cost of 72%, now 94. This is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Does have one stage though. Does manage to catch the uh, the second level of the flare. And again, yeah, just kind of finally trying out in neutral again. Uh, Evan showing a little bit more respect with the DD. He can't approach with the way that Kiro had. He did. Ha he does have that belly armor with Kiro, but with DDD he does not have that. He did sacrifice the belly armor for more jumps, however, so he does have some more options. Off stage, no, not another SD. That's not what you want to see. Oh, you did so well in game one, and now I think maybe good. the names have caught up to him. Speaking of people catching up, how are you doing? Mitch? I am good. Oh, I'm loving it. So game one game was one. actually pretty good. Oh yeah. Um, Kieran was doing fine. Just a couple of um, a couple of slight errors meant that um, Evans advantage there could shine. Okay. Um, unfortunately, in this game, two SDs. Oh. Not not what you want to see. Sad, but sad, sad. Again, it's not the worst. If you can take these two stocks, a 70% deficit is not the worst. Or you just land on stage. <laughs> and that might be yeah, it. Yeah. Too much well, damage. Like, never mind then. Uh, that is 202 Pelly Lover. Yep. X Pelly Lover. Am I okay taking it off by the hoops? It's not going to kill me. Sorry? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, fine. I think. Yeah, yeah, it should. Okay. As long as he doesn't turn it off, then it's fine. Yeah. Um, tracking checks or playing, it looks like. I really wish Mo would do this. Or start starting the games. <laughs> it would it would help. I mean, it's not the worst thing when it's only one. Why don't you let him know? Huh? Oh, yay! Let's go. Fantastic. Yeah, 
Hello, hello. It's me, Lyco. I'm probably not going to commentate, I'm just uh, filling the air. So if you've got anything to ask or tell me, go ahead. I've got no idea who the next set is. So, uh, yeah. How are we all today? Blue, where are you? Actually, no, you've got COVID, haven't you? I think we've got Jackie versus Jermaine. Jackie. Yep. Roy. And Curry G. Right. Winners. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how people feel after the um, the Sonic movie. Get your voice spooky on stream. I don't know where he is in the phone, in the bracket actually. He is currently against Trilby, which to be honest is a pretty exciting set. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, I'm just doing this. You don't need to do that because we can't see it. Oh, can they not? Yeah. Well, I'm going to have it there anyway. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that is um, an unfortunate team kill for the Harley Pool team. Well, That's all. Well, well. So, so basically, Spooky and Connor are playing each other for like... Well, not for anything, but in oh, winner's quarters. I thought they seeded that to not happen. Well, apparently, it was seeded to not happen, but happened anyway. So I it was seeded to not a, happen, and then Mo must have changed it. I'm going to blame Mo. We've got... So we have Kerry, Jack. Kerry Governor, who yep. is fresh off a win at Me uh, Monday Meltdown, 64 entrance, and Jackie, who is just as good. <laughs> Either way, fairly even match if I imagine. Uh, but Jackie's coming in strong with uh, a lot of uh, yeah. approaching aerials. Nair being quite hard to challenge, of course. Ooh, interesting use of the flare blade to catch the... It can be a really good option to catch someone overextending from the light there. Yeah. Jackie's been practicing his uh, advantage state a lot recently, and it's... It, it definitely it shows. Yeah. And I do like his awareness to con uh, consistently parry the uh, aerials <laughs> from Jermaine's cloud. <laughs> But I imagine Jermaine will make a swift uh, catching up soon enough. Uh, patient response from Jackie, not rolling away, not rolling in. So as we know, those are... Uh, oh, what can I see that? You don't see that very often, but it is what it is. These platforms, uh, we saw it very briefly earlier, are very good for uh, Cloud's back air pressure. Oh yeah, you can so, use it really well to, um, like if you're trying to pressure someone on the ledge, you use like top down back air. Yeah, really good it allows you to react uh, rather than having to short hop and then do it, which is very, very good in certain matchups, or in general to be honest with you. But either way, Jackie's doing a good job of uh, not letting his lead slip away too easily. Good uh, reaction to the neutral get up with F tilt there. Curry's ledge pressure has always been like he's strong in a lot of ways, but like his ledge pressure has always been what I consider probably his best. Yeah, his um, his ledge trapping is insane, it's, it's, but it's so strong because it's it feels so suffocating when you're fighting game. I'd um, like to see uh, Jackie maybe react to Jermaine just standing there at ledge because he could maybe protect the F tilt uh, response and go for jumps instead. But as you can see, Jermaine's uh, ca caught up, well, already caught up and surpassed Jackie. I hope Jackie doesn't get too flustered at Jermaine's pressure. There we go, the back air's coming when he's jumping like that. 
Yeah, if there's one player in the scene that will create an upset, it is Jackie. You know. Ooh. Well, I'm unfortunate. I can't imagine that. Uh, that was an intentional BFB. Learn to swap that. Uh, where's the swap? It's like in the middle. The that part. Yeah. Oh, I see. Got it. So yeah, Jackie's struggling to catch up. Maybe needs to slow it down a bit to to get the stock back. Don't want to overcommit yeah, when Jermaine's is, that, so ready for it. I was gonna say that is something Jackie tends to struggle along with. Um, Roy, quite a in-your-face character. So when it comes time to slow it down, his Roy isn't quite able to do it as well. Yeah. Um, you know, he does have the Diddy Kong, which he does play at a slower pace. But as far as characters wise. Ooh, Oh, it's still living. I do very much like the attempt from Jermaine to um, fall off with lead, uh, with limit charge and yeah. then go for the near edge guard. It was a nice idea because, you know, he could stay safe with just knowing he could just limit afterwards. Yeah. Plus, knowing, knowing Cloud's not the greatest edge guard and doesn't necessarily mean he can't edge guard at all. Yeah. Especially, like, a character with a pretty exploitable recovery like Warwick. Right. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's exploitable, but when they're sent that far off, there's only so many ways they can recover. Yeah. Not, not exploitable, but more like, um... Linear? Linear, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the So we've got Duel of the Fates. Not sure that's a good idea against uh, Star Wars fan Jermaine. <laughs> I would personally recommend against it, but it is what it I is. Mean, you know, it's already been picked. Maybe it's a power move. Maybe picking your opponent's song is an act of... I don't even know. Territory? Yeah. <laughs> Claim... Claiming your your stick to the domain. So we're evil and neutral. I imagine uh, Jackie will be looking for some approaching nares, maybe jab pressure or down tilt pressure. And we're seeing the up airs coming out here. Yep, solid combo to start off with. You'll be want to be very wary of that central platform, as we saw with the corner pressure from the Bears on uh, PS2. Cloud can use that platform uh, to pressure in neutral as well, since it covers the, cent the state central stage very well. Good read on the neutral getup. That did happen last game. Uh, he did go for that same neutral getup last time, so it's good awareness from Jermaine to remember that. Beefy will be there, not getting punished as hard as... I can, I can only assume they're due to pressure and nerves. Okay, I like it. Yeah. I'm not too sure how far below the ledge uh, Roy's dare will hit and how effective it is against uh, Umbi, but... I, I don't, I don't think it is very that effective. It's quite it's quite a puny hitbox as far as dares go. Um, I think I'd probably rather it go for a two-frame down tilt since it hits at a very detrimental yeah, angle. The, the down tilt's are probably a better option. It's a lot safer to go for as well. Um, you know, if you if you miss it. So Jermaine at this point has a strong lead, can just sort of pull back, yeah. uh, wall out with bears maybe. He is still going on the offensive, probably. The, the thing is, you, say, you say he could, but that is not he's, the player Jermaine. That is not the player Jermaine is. <laughs> he, he, he wants to end this quickly. The, you know, he, he likes doing, he likes going for stuff. You know he's, hunt, he's, no, he's looking for blood there. And there it is. Oh, that was... <laughs> Kinda gross. Alright, uh, we're going to have Minimo and Shrek up next. So, Minimo and Shrek. I believe Shrek beat Chex after losing game one to Chex and Sephiroth. Oh, yeah. So, that's a nice comeback from him. Good stuff there. Okay, this is still quarters. Yeah. This is going to be Wolf versus ZSS. ZSS, a character with a bit of a weird neutral. Um, Shrek's a player that doesn't like to pull back. I believe CSS is a character that should pull back. Wallout was there, um, maybe going with occasional nerves, but in general, it's a bit. It's a, it's kind of like where uh, Wolf can play very grounded against CSS, similar to how he would play against Palutena. Um, He's probably going to be dashing in, dashing out, not jumping too much. He's going to be very aware of the Nair and its follow-ups. There is one thing to mention which I think Shrek might go for, which is the run-up up smash. I don't rate it as an option personally. He says he does it because Mars does it. Mars is the top player and his brain works very differently. 
But if it does land, there's plenty of potential follow-ups. Of course, the only true one is up air, but if uh, Mo does not SDI correctly, he could get uh, followed up with there off air, which of course leads into further follow-ups. So ideally, I think I'd like to see some defensive gameplay from Shrek. Um, and needs to get the lead early and then pretend to hold it as best he can. I'm not... Hello, Ben. I'm waiting for you, you know. You're waiting for me? Yeah, we're playing next. Are we? Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's after this round anyway. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to make the Yeah, I guess you can wait to Yeah. Uh, do you want to go on stream or not? Do you? I'm not bothered. <laughs> this isn't... I know. I should have, I should have played when you wanted to and now you're just giving no answers about it. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm not too certain how effective ZSS Down Smash is on Wolf's recoveries. It should work very well on, on Side B and lead to a kill because I don't think Side B snaps. Up B does snap, so it depends how well he can time it. Personally, when I'm playing this matchup, I try to wait for it until I see the up B come out and then release the down tilt or whatever. CSS, I imagine, can do sort of similar with a down smash charge. Almost never catches up B. Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe he'll go for like a fair edge guard or something instead. So I imagine we'll see quite a um, a slow neutral to begin with. Ah, oh, there it is. Trek coming in pretty quickly. Jab on shield is unsafe, but equally there are jab mix-ups you can do, so it's jab one to run away or jab one to delay into jab three. Minimal goes strong start there. Ooh, nearly killed with the back air and the jump read. Shrek's not going to want to be too jump happy from the ledge uh, when Wolf's uh, in back air range like that. So, that's not going to kill, surely. Okay, good. So, ZSS down B is kind of unique in that it has a very powerful presence against standing at, uh, people who stand at the ledge like that. So Minimo is going to have to be aware of that, maybe he shields uh, and try not to two frame too often in case uh, he gets down to be buried. Okay, so that fair was not true. That shows that Minimo is not SDIing the up smash correctly. Either way, he got a good kill. Probably going to try and go for some strong advantage stakes up here. Probably going to fish for grab. Yeah. I'm not certain whether up throw or down throw is uh, optimal in this matchup. It, I think it depends on the fall speed of the character. ZSS being a fast faller is perhaps not as good uh, when down throw and is up throw. So as we can see, the, uh, ooh, I like the run pass into reverse up B. I thought there might have been a body blocking situation there, but I guess not. So I think uh, Wolf's Blaster is pretty good in this neutral, especially against uh, ZSSs that like to jump a lot, because you can use it to catch the landing if they're too committal. Minimo knowing that side B wasn't uh, shield, uh, punishable on shields and decide not to commit too often. Yeah, I, I, I think it, it, it pops them up very slightly, which is why you can run. It puts them into an aerial state and then they can run past. Shrek perhaps should have realised that Wolf's up smash isn't as punishable as it looks. But, uh, oh, I do like the use of delayed uh, jab free there. I did mention that at the beginning. No way. So Shrek, wow, going to take the game that quickly. I was going to say I, I, I thought he would play very reserved for the final stop, but no, he just went in and took the game. So, how's Minimo going to switch this up? I don't think they'll stay on the same stage. He'll probably go to... Oh, no, he's going to stick. It's horrendous, isn't it? Did you do the jab free because I said it? No, I went back to PS2. So they're complaining about not being able to hear comms. Welcome to my world. So I'm not too sure how Minimo will switch this up. 
He might go for a more aggressive neutral. His defensive neutral, of course, works against some players more than others. Uh, it, it works well against me, and well, I'm not too sure how well it works against Horus, but for other players, so like I'm guessing we've got the might... names the wrong way around. Uh, yeah, you got to click up there. Yeah, to switch ah. it. And could you give Shrek a game? Let's go then. Wow, Shrek, a game up on yeah. well. So Shrek won that pretty convincingly, actually. Uh, Mo played the first game fairly defensively, as he would against. Oh dear, as he would against me. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, getting more convincing by the day. Yeah, I think Minimo's awareness of uh, CSS combo stops isn't quite as good as it could be at the moment. Oh jeez. <laughs> Uh, Shrek playing on some Ethereum energy right now. Spent nothing but his friendlies just playing against Jackie's Roy, so I think it's just fueled him with the pure aggro rage yeah. to just devour Mo. And right now, uh, it's all going according to plan, apart from that lost stuff. Yeah, I think um, Shrek's rhythm is just sort of throwing Mo off quite a bit at the moment. So I think, I really think Mo needs to switch up the speed at which he does things. Sure enough, that's going to be another stock loss in West Borough. Still in best of three territory, so if Mo drops another... Yeah, this uh, is his final opportunity to change things up. Oh, well, there you go. That'll get things moving. Always feels good when you can get a wolf forward smash. In, yeah, uh, in... I'm not too sure about the placement of it, but it works, so I won't say too much. Like, it's not even that damaging, but as soon as you've landed it, it's like, oh, yeah, I got you. This is just neutral, the character. So when they go that one step beyond. I saw the up smash with on um, on CSS up smash punish. I'm wondering if that's because Mo charged it very slightly and it was actually true punish, but I'm not too certain on that. Either way, uh, Shrek's getting a strong lead here. And really wants to be aware of that down smash because if he gets hit by it, he's probably going to lose his stock at this point. Right now, I do love the composure from Mo. I mean, he's weakly trained on the basis of it. Yeah. Gotta be very careful not to roll in on those CSS tech chasers. It's all almost always gonna to lead to death, a bit similar to how Wario plays, honestly. So I think Mo's probably gonna go get the kill. Uh, oh, he might not, you know. I imagine he'll get it off maybe an up, an up air or a back throw. Yeah, back throw yeah, works. That's the one, alright, so this is a most. A uh, familiar situation for him. When you've got two stocks to take, it's always a bit of a worry. It does take a while. Wolf Kai will just cheese them out of you. But as soon as he gets you down to one, oh, it's time. Yeah, I mean, Wolf's advantage state, as we've seen in many sets before, is very strong and most pretty good at abusing it. He's got to be very wary of getting hit by a side B at this point, because it will. I imagine it will straight up kill. Yeah, and as we see the attempt, Shrek does believe two. Mo having to, to go believe in his recovery. Yeah, he tried to go for an early back air kill on the tether. I'm not sure it's the best option. I'd like him to keep playing uh, straight neutral for this point to, until he gets to about 100 or so. Now we're at 71. I'm no real Shrek. threat from Shrek other than the side B attempt to actually take that stock away. Mo is not in Ooh. flip kick range at all. That's no. what's taken both of the stocks so far. An unfortunate case of forward air not working. I'm hoping Shrek doesn't lose his composure at this point. Enough smash will kill, maybe a paralyzer. Ooh. Oh, well, there you go. DI yeah, mix up on the immediate up throw. That's an, a, a good win for Shrek and an unfortunate loss for Minimo. He's collecting wins on all the PR players. We have no doubt that Shrek will be taking a place on it next time there is one. It's quite so, a while off. I am now against Airborne. So. Oh, well, fun in the sun. So, hello for everybody. Uh, I did leave because yeah. I've, I've had a banking scam basically. I saw that so, well, yeah, but I, I should have basically just not played against Mike in the first place so I could keep me nine quid for next week instead of plugging into a, a games console to stare at my phone for ten minutes <laughs> and press side B sometimes. But it is what it is. Of course. On combo with a sore throat after DQ and Thunder. But that's not what it's about. It's about the light hole and the archer who's in the air. Let's find all those characters for us. Do we have an airborne preset? We 
like, ah. Okay, fine. I am going to <laughs> All right. So we've got I hate him. the one winged angel against the one character in the game who is known for ruling angels, ignoring Bayonetta. It's Palutena, of course. She gives the orders. Sephiroth, I think, a bit too rebellious to listen to her, but we'll see if he can hold the I said, I was going rock, so you went scissors. <laughs> so... Lito announcing that he's going to play rock in rock, paper, scissors. So, uh, Airborne Archer responded by playing scissors and lost. <laughs> I think he lost anyway. Oh no, it's Robin time. Well, that's the correct option. The, the Sephiroth is fun, but we all believe in the, uh, the Airborne Robin and it's been way too late. Uh, let's find this character. That's it. He never used to play the last, did he? Female Robin from Airborne Archer? I feel betrayed. Oh, he doesn't uh, so much like the green skin in this one, but even still. We are in immediate ledge. Uh, good that. Right, so this counts as town and city, I think. This is the Trilby switch. Some of the mods are, you know, acceptable. Some of them are, uh, as I said to the face, a negatively presented no comment. This is, this is less of a negatively presented no comment and more just a no comment in general. We've taken Kalos, we've modified it and we've put it on town and city. Like, alright, well, there goes the first stop from uh, Lightimus. And there goes it, uh, the response from Airborne Archer. So basically, we can have a fresh start now and it's going to immediately start. The Palutena Nerial Train. Oh, yep. Ah, oh, we could run some sliding platform shenanigans. There's Palu's counter getting involved. Uh, Light up does use it from, from time to time. So you've got a very familiar read on the majority of opponents in this venue, and even Airborne Archer who can't attend all the time. He's still going to know when a good situation comes up, if it arises. Uh, Airborne Archer needs to hit Lito, and has done so <laughs> with a Nosferatu of all things into the reflect, though. Oh. Testing my sore throat already. <coughs> oh dear. But we press on because there's gaming in front of my face and that explosive flame absolutely qualifies. Second one, maybe not so much. Um, everyone with a wide escape. Third one. And a fourth one. Right. What if I were to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch and press the B button while holding forwards on my control stick? I mean, there's, there's the occasional smash input here and there, get some, get some extra distance, but, you know? Uh, Robin in the world of Fire Emblem Awakening, not really meant to deal with just aerial explosions like that. Oh, caught in the turnaround lag. Uh, I'm not, I think maybe... Lighto was going for a turnaround up tilt or something like that because uh, I think the hitbox starts at the back but instead he just turned around and did the square root and now so that's going to open up an opportunity there's your big net coming in arc fire into Thoron oh! <laughs> teleporting into the final frame of that electric beam but in a compromising position and that down air the leg sweep We'll give number one to Lito, who will be waiting for Shrek. He bans FD and a couple of others. Again, this is our first New Castlevania played without Yoshi's story because we can't be bothered anymore. That's the reason. We chucked in Hollow Bastion, which should have been there to begin with. And then Yoshi's story, we've just said, nah, I'm alright, to be honest. And onwards we go. 
with Palutena Robin on wherever the hell. This time, no, it is the same skin. Take it back. Rain clouds above his head, but it's a it's a snowy Smashville for us instead. We're seeing explosive flame again. Do, number two, are we going to get a counter? Not a down B. We're get, we're counting that we're on number three. That's right. So it's been 15 seconds. What if I were to say explosive flame? <laughs> 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 Here we thought we were there. <laughs> Number five then. Has he got a favourite move in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? There is a contender. Alright, there's the Nos full hop Nosferatu at that. Uh, num Number six. Don't listen to me. Number seven. <laughs> Just play however you want. Okay, uh, 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 not that counter. Instead, it's uh, a mild lead from Airborne Archer. I think we're going to need some more explosive flip. <laughs> I'll come into it until someone else appears, but I don't think it's looking good for me today. Good grief. For now, Airborne has been sent to the snowy depths of Animal Crossing Universe. And that's your, that's your 54%. Apparently there was an 8 that I missed while I was spluttering away. The last hit in there, actually going to force a back air. This is really, really bad for the archer who prefers to be in the air. 9 out of... It's this game too, my hob hunky friend. So here we go again then. This was... Really quite an even game at the beginning. Airborne Archer actually had a mild lead for a lot of it, but it's ended up as a three stock. What on earth happened? Lighto decided to stop using explosive flame, basically, turned up the game, and went on a tirade. <laughs> so there you are, Lighto will be moving on to fight Shrek in the winners' finals. Uh, I guess spooky little man and Trilby must be happening off screen. At some point we may get it. Let's have a look at the bracket and see who we can shout for. Hey up, back we go. Hello! I don't know whose idea it was to count the explosive flames, but fuck you all. I am not Smash 4 Cosmos. I am not something else um, that I've been known for counting, yes. Was there another incident like that? Uh, just the numerous Cosmos sets in a row. No. <laughs> right, uh, or any time that we've seen Whoopi playing Richter in a Birmingham tournament. Uh, also the what? What? <laughs> Oh, god damn it! I thought I got to play Shrek and win a semis, but I got to play Jermaine instead. Oh, I thought so too, damn. So there's more to it than that. Uh... Does that mean Moe's on my side of, um, losers? Oh, what? I've got to play Mo for fifth instead of fourth or third? God damn it. I mean, we're taking L out here. You're in winner semis though, and the, the bracket is very much alive. Curry Governor I, I, may or may I not be. I the regrettable good. news that Chex is pissing, and that's why we're not playing it. Interesting. Alright, so we have in losers Matthias B. X. Lot, Chandog B. X. Pelly Lover, uh, Chex B. Chex and Hill, and Guru Gamish in an upset beat Hopunks. That's two weeks in a row of upsets on the man who's right behind me. I, I, I'm about to say his name and he just charges in. What, what we, uh, so if I were to talk about the Sonic 2 post credit scene right about now, 
We know exactly. Uh, 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 we're all pretending we don't want to say it. We all know exactly what it is. That, well, I don't. I was saying that to get rid of you, but apparently risked you spoiling it for me instead. No, I don't know. I, I haven't had it spoiled yet, but I think we all know what it is. I can't say I've put any thought into it, really. Yeah, what, just what's up with Mr. Hunks lately? That was the only upset of it against Mish. He was supposed to lose to Spooky Little Man, he was supposed to beat Dio in a revenge match. Um, and yeah, just Mish had him. Chandog losing to Airborne was something of an upset as well, but I don't think, as soon as Airborne Archer decided today's a Robin week, I think the upset factor vanished then. Yeah. I mean, I, I, in, in a sense, the upset factor is still there because it's been so long since anybody played against Robin that the matchup in experience is, is back. Mm -hmm. However, uh, I've been playing Anthers recently and I've played a Robin a couple of times so I'm actually somewhat up to date on the matchup. Yeah, it worked out for you, not so much for everyone else. Yeah, I imagine Mish will have a hard time uh, against the Robin. Yeah, it's certainly nice Is to Shrek be on stream? Uh, it should be, yeah, because when it, both of the Winnie semi sets uh, are going to be on stream. It looked like I knew what was up with that matchup. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I did. Well, it took a little bit of remembering, but um, Robin sucks. So, Shrek versus Trilby. The last time they played, didn't Shrek win? I don't think uh, he did. Oh, it was a bell. It wasn't like immediate. It was a few weeks, uh, four weeks ago or something. About a month ago. Yeah, I don't fully really remember that. Uh, we've got a mini mode, Matt face, facing off for ninth. Matt, I think, was seeded to get seventh or ninth. I oh. think it was Matt seventh and Checks ninth. Oh, so, so they went one one. one. Okay. Jackie has currently sat himself down in the uh, the com uh, the. Uh, stream set of seats so I assume he's going to be on against Chet. Yeah I think he's made that decision somewhat on his own but uh, he has also plugged in so that is now confirmed but it's like it's an interesting set so yeah uh, this is the only chance we're really gonna get to see. So that is Sephiroth versus Roy. Uh, not a match that I personally know much about but I imagine the um, what's it called Scintilla? That's yeah, it. the down the counter will be very very effective against that um, that recovery. With characters with other characters with counters, it's not massively effective. Like it will knock them back, but it often doesn't kill them. With Scintilla, the it uh, it just straight up kills them. I'm pretty sure it's like absurdly powerful for, for some odd reason. So Jackie's obviously going to have to be very very aware of that. I'm not sure how well he'll play against. Um, uh, Sephiroth ledge stalling, but at the same time, I don't think I've seen Chex do it that much. So who knows? Maybe it'll play a good big part in the match. Maybe it won't. Yeah, or maybe he'll just go in Cinero. You know, if he goes he loses in Cinero, Chex is a different beast. Uh, yeah, I'll say that's because Tetra Khan is stupid. Play a character with a shit counter like me. Alright, you wouldn't trade that move for anything in the game, would you? I'd trade love it for Scintilla. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is true, but... Uh... Give, give back Palutena Lightweight Custom from Smash 4. Uh, yeah, I know what you want. You want Celestial Firework. No, Celestial Firework sucks. I think Palutena should have Celestial Firework on all four of her move slots in this I game. I think she should have Heavenly Light. Alright, you can have... <laughs> You can have Heavenly Light on one slot what, and you Celestial mean you Firework You don't like three. down throw Nair Upper to kill at literally zero <laughs> on every character in the game. That sounds humorous. It's very funny. So it's like Accelerator, but better. Because you can use it on command. Man, I wish I got the chance to see that in a tournament set. That would have been funny. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're not getting checks, Jackie. We've got lies oh. and deceit. Okay, so Jackie plugged in and then decided to fuck off. We've got instead... That's not very eSports of you. Oh, uh, who cares? 
Shrek versus Trilby. Uh, so, could go either way. As we said earlier, it it went one. They went one one in sets last time. Last week they played them, I believe. Connor taking the second set three zero. Do not know what song this? Uh, do you know what game this song's from? It's something with a Japanese title. Probably like King of Fires or something. So, CSS is a character with relatively safe on shield aerials. I'm not too sure how many moves Roy can up B. But, Roy's grounded up B, I believe, has armor. So, Connor might want no to throw uh, some uh, preemptive up Bs to challenge uh, stuff like Nair from CSS. Neither one of those forward throws have worked out for Shrek, so I think he's trying to just be uh, anti-optimal on purpose to surprise Trilby. I mean, the DI would be similar. I guess the DI would be some kind of mix up there. But yeah. There's your boost kick, anyways. Yeah. I guess you don't need you don't need your throws until you go for an up throw surprise kill at the very end. Yeah. I'm not too sure how consistent up B will be against um, the the double edge cancel because. Roy has a, a lot of mix-ups on the timing. Ooh, uh, if, ooh, uh. if they go for a delayed final hit, it might just straight up beat uh, ZSS with up B and get the kill very early percents. So, Dinette, you know I've never watched Naruto. Sorry. We'll so. see you do the Naruto run out of this venue when you're about to fight Tori Governor. You know. When I was a kid, I unknowingly did the Naruto run because I can because that. Sonic did it in Sonic Heroes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's your reason. <laughs> anyway, back on topic. Boys' advantage state obviously very good. Um, take, doing about fifty percent off that one neutral win. Connor's probably going to go for a ledge trap at some point. Uh, might go for a, a, a nail on the neutral get up, but down tilt's good. I like the down tilt because if they hang at ledge too often, it, they lose their invul and can be hit by it. Because of that, they're going to get up earlier and earlier in an attempt to avoid that down tilt. So, knowing that, Connor can then pressure with jab or go for a straight back raid on the jump. Is it going to oh, Instead, avoiding the ledge altogether with a flip jump recovery. Nice idea. No kill throw on the uh, Roy upwards just yet. No, misses with the up airs. Unfortunate sour up airs. But Connor has been pretty uh, aware of the uh, potential flip kick berries so, so far, which is good. Because as we saw in the previous set no, not being aware of that led to some very early stops. So, CSS is going to have to commit somewhat hard to secure a kill without losing too much. Uh, or just commit to straight to a down air in the middle of the interaction. Uh, uh, I am not going to do that because that's coaching, and they are, uh, Shrek is right next to me. Sorry. He may make that decision on his own, but that character has certainly been warmed up in friendlies throughout the, yeah. throughout the day. So um, a good catch on the tether recovery there with the pair. I would have maybe liked to see more Zares from uh, Shrek, because I believe Zare combos into back air at, at kill percents, is that right? <laughs> Sounds sketchy, but maybe not on Roy. Perhaps not on Roy with being a fast faller. Um, but while we're between games, I can also mention if you did the Naruto run because of Sonic Heroes, and Horus did the Sonic r Naruto run because of Sonic Heroes, and thought it made her go faster. Uh, I used to long jump in real life because of Super Mario 64 DS. I thought that long jumping was faster than running. As long as you did it the right way, I don't care. <laughs> Oh, that so, was a lot of thought put into the technique. We're running uh, straight back to PS2. Obviously, the stage wasn't the issue at all. Shrek's gonna... Oh! <laughs> Taking a very early stop with that flip kick. I wouldn't, I'm not sure what exactly Shrek's gonna change about this playstyle. I imagine the display is re very relatively similar, but just maybe changes timing very slightly yeah, to Triple Chilby. Doing the same thing with a stock advantage, that sounds good to me. Yeah. I mean, it appears to be working so far, but Connor is catching up fairly well. So I'm very aware of jab uh, and double edge dance at this point. Random, random back airs could work, but they are a commitment, and CSS can punish them. Ooh, the blaster! How is that avoided? 
perfect air dodge from Trilby. I'm very to not, not only not hit the floor, but also not hit the, the gunshot. Honestly, I think the blaster could be used more when in the lead, because since Roy's going to be approaching, you could back out of that range and, predicting the jump hit, go for a relatively unpunishable blaster. So for now, he's instead just relying purely on the down smash variant, which is that bit more punishable, and there you go, flip kick into Roy's up air. Oh dear. Yeah, Con again, a pretty good read on uh, Shrek's jump comments there. I'm going to go for a strong advantage there. Not too much damage, but another combo of that should put him into a dangerous position. It definitely does feel like Trilby has been the stronger player throughout this game. He just happens to be losing because of an extremely early kill. Well, being if you able were to put money on one of the two at the moment, you'd probably go with Trilby. I would, yeah. Of course, being able to recover from uh, disadvantaged situations like that is the mark of a better player in the, in the set. Shrek's not wanna, not going to want to commit too hard at this point. Maybe looking for a potential bad aerial to up me. Never mind, we're going to go for an air. Uh, an Kills with guard. a bad aerial instead, the forward air actually doing its purpose with the second hit only. I do like the attempt by Shrek to read the tech in and go for an, a falling up air to lengthen the combo. But could have done with a bit more patience on the uh, tech roll. Now here we go, the, well there to free uh, get back to the stage That's, option. That flare blade was never... very strong combo. Going to try and read the falling uh, air touch with a blaster. Ooh, not quite uh, too much distance to travel for that to turn into a down B, but that might that be back it, honestly. Air, yeah, Ooh, just go out there and. That was an unfortunate miss. <laughs> right, Shrek's going to want to play safe. You might want to try and end it early, I wouldn't recommend that, but then again, Roy's a very explosive character. Yeah. Is there into back air, as I mentioned earlier, may work depending on whether it's true on Roy, or we might go for a down smash or paralyzer read. Both of Shrek's stocks have been lost to flip kicks at this point. They've both been in different situations. One was on the ground and one was in the air. But at yeah. this point, you've just got to be careful with how you use it. I don't want to see Shrek going for too many committal aerials at this point, because if he trades, he will lose. Oh, never mind. Very just go good. for it again anyway, and this time you'll kill off it. But don't Shrek listen to Tail of the Toaster. Connor, unfortunately, not being too aware, aware, aware enough of the flip kick berry. It does, of course, punish those who are standing at ledge without shield. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, sure. That's fine. You'd be replacing me, if anything, Kieran. I'm like... Kieran has grabbed me by the shoulders and tried to force me off to a comms. He nearly threw me across the room. But Listen, it is my entitled right to be in this seat. Thankfully, I am too strong a player and was not thrown across the room. I'm not, I didn't see the stage, is that a run back? Yeah. Captain America's theme, is this from Marvel vs. Capcom? Potentially. This is straight up from, from the cinema to get us uh, demonetised <laughs> per permanently. So, Connor uh, did know to DI uh, SDI the, um, the up smash upwards, that makes up, up air the only true follow up. But Shrek's got to be very aware of these jabs at ledge. Because, uh, uh, me, honestly, the mic kill at this point. We haven't seen any of these down smashes land from Shrek so far, but at some point one of them is going to. Bracing myself for that moment, but here we go! Big match. mash from the best That's masher in the really NE! That's unfortunate for Shrek. When I say best masher, I'm not talking about playstyle, although it's not entirely inappropriate. Yeah. Tri the Connor controller mash to get out of a berry is unparalleled, it's world level talent. Right, so I don't want to see too heavy a commitment from Shrek. He could, of course, get nervous and start throwing out kill options. We don't want to see that, because if that happens, Connor will take strong advantage and take this uh, game. Oh. That was a strong read. As, as we can see, Connor's got a read on these recoveries. Shrek's got to mix them up more frequently. Now just dancing around, trying to come up with some kind of idea. Shrek has full belief in Shrek's forward air. One of the only people who rates it. He thinks it's completely safe. But... Did you say of Shrek's forward air? The, the New CSS's is forward air, used by Shrek. So, it is basically his forward air, because none of the other CSS players want it. You often see players like Kohler and Goblin go for the up B uh, to land on the platform because it's nigh unpunishable. But if uh, it if it whips, it can be punished by a very quick aerial. 
Uh, if ZSS has anything, oh, we know. It's a quick aerial. There you go. Actually, angles that all the way up so it doesn't get an immediate landing on the blazer. But I'm seeing a lot more flip picks onto stage recently. I'm wondering if that's Shrek just becoming desperate for the kill. Side beam might be the better option at this point because it's very safe. Oh, cross stage though, perfect. The idea to get into that upper right corner. This one has thoroughly slipped away from Shrek, but we'll, we'll not ignore that it is 1 1, and there remain two more chances to go if he drops this one. And now let's see if he can kill at 173, or if Zero Suit Samus uh, joke sucks. Oh, joke, uh, she sucks, wow. Loss. Shrek Onedo able to take the stock and oh, wait, unfortunately yeah, three, fell, fell apart. So I think it's going to be me versus Jermaine on, so hopefully I won't get three stocks. That is a thought process. No, because you, you're quite a demanding person when it comes to the commentary desk, and I think someone needs to stand up to you. I need to be teach you, to the mic. Teach you some authority, man. My commentary is quiet as shit. That's not very esports of you either. This ain't esports. Have you not just seen the world level mash out of Berry from Trilby? Sadly, that I is, did not. That is literally top 10 in the universe. Come on. It's so powerful it created a universe. <laughs> in and of itself. The, the mash planet. <laughs> yes. How, how do we swap the game? There we go. Get everything sorted out right. Has it still won his cause or? It's winner semis. Listen, Ooh, let's powerful. make our stream as accurate as possible. I would hope that we can do that. I, I would, I, I would hope that we can do it. Oh, Giratina, let's go. Iris, um, I can respect a, a, a reasonable pick. Dueling fates for the next one, gentlemen. Come on, there is dueling oh, fates. What, what's your favourite champion theme, then? Champion theme? I, I was going to. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's yeah. red from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but then after that, that oh, Lance from Heart that, Gold and Soul Silver. That's in the tier of its own. Yeah, when so apart. When I'm playing champion fees, I'd say, like, pick champions in, like, the actual league. Well. But you know who's a champion? He's playing right now. Alright? He's desperate to talk on, about Smash on, Brothers. Well, fine, we will let's then. Get on commentary. Curry G's getting s slaughtered by Palutena's neutral air at the current, at the current right moment. Now. Explosive Flame 1. Cynthia's team does go hard. Yeah, however, Curry G is blue at the moment and that well he's he's not blue anymore. I think he may have been able to uh air dodge, but like that's hypothetical completely. I don't understand his air dodge. So yeah. But listen, this is still a twenty percent lead for Lito and now, Curry G can be beaten from time to time. Shrek's done it reliably. This is true. could just be Callum's moment, especially when he knows that Minimo would be waiting for him and loses. He really doesn't want that. Minimo just would go. be scary. Like, I think... Is Lito more afraid of Mo than of Curry at this point? I have to wonder. Maybe not quite, but... Uh, we have to the Mo the losing right streak is looking right. quite grim. So this is just essential for Lito to play as well as possible. And just... Make today the day. Very good. Oh, he finds that grab. And this is some sick old ledge trapping. No, but he gets that doesn't grab and he's getting an offstage explosive flamer has that met him with, with the, the ultimate fortune. consequence. What did it cost? Everything. Maybe that was a missing on the ledge trapper, but we will know. Yes, but straight out of the corner. Oh, God. Teleport is just a free out of body to me, and that is a free kill to my uh, friend. Oh. The beam of light. There oh. you are, another Curry he loves his ledge trumps. He does have the easiest character in the game to ledge trump with, which is Very which true. is convenient. Oh, it's so fast and reliable. The portal mode in German is uh, I believe it's one off or ledge slip up beep back into stage, and it's always very fast. 
Trump's not about the ledge. And you see it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you can't ledge Trump, you can with Cloud. Very true. Oh, finding his mark. And he catches him on the teleport, getting the two frame, I believe. Holy shit. Oh, wow, that was... Game one to Curry G. Absolutely essential, and obviously the red splash for untackable, so it was a really nice first stop from Lito, and there was a decent kill in there, but as as is often the case, it just runs away from him, with Curry just getting better and better as time clocks on. Very true. We're going to game two now. Uh, is this a one back? Yes, it is. One back on a very cool stage. Got to respect uh, Show Me for the excellent one pack we utilize on stage there. Yes, this Pokemon Stadium 2 is not a no comment, it's just a good. Yes. We get some uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon vibes when everyone else has forgotten about it. Fun games, but the unfortunate thing is that they just copied off the What is your favourite Ultra Beast? Uh, the building. Yes, funny. good shout. It's Zach, gotta be. Zach Attack is good in uh, like actual competitive, and it's funny. My my number one is Zerkatry, but like oh, I love the build. I love the building, and obviously Buzzwall is just an elite tier in its own. I think all the Ultra Beasts are really good designs. Oh. You know, it's a great well, design. This is you know who's an Ultra Beast? This Curry Governor and his uh, cloud. I gotta shake your hand on shake, that one. Shake, that, shake, that, shake. that was an improvement over mine. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what's an Ultra B? That explosive flame that's gonna come out. Oh, uh, very true, but uh, a good, a good joke, an incorrect prediction. I think Paul has got some Ultra, Ultra A as well. Don't you? Don't need to worry about it. Oh, I'm not finding the ledge from the portion, and they just stuck in the corner. I mean, shoves them into the other corner. Pretty brutal. Now off we go, there's your down tilt chance. Too late. Doesn't expect there to be an air dodge. Was waiting for an upbeat. Different timings on each, and you gotta be ready for both. Oh, an awkward situation. No, you don't wanna be about to, uh, to me. Or cloud in general. Oh my god. The pursuance. Oh my word, how do you get out of there? You shielded like three or four attacks in a row and still not caught. Excellent patience from Jermaine now, sitting in shield, not going to let the Lytle get anything off that up. Oh, oh there you Lytle are! Lytle get something off that down there, holy shit! That's right, force the air dodge with that explosive flame and then force yourself into the depths. Missing bits are sad, very unfortunate, they happen. Just gotta deal with it. Indeed, life goes on, so... Here we are, it's Palatina combo time. There's... Uh, it's come to an immediate close, actually. 30% certainly isn't bad. It certainly isn't great compared to what it could have been. Absolutely. And here we are, it's limit time. Oh, Thank two back airs. Have a third try. Today I learned that you can get limit neutral B into a back air. Wow. Most likely not true, and I pray to God it is. He's certainly busted it out before from time to time. It's it's a good uh, curry G giggle option. Sometimes it'll slice you up. I love the impact of Cloud's get up attack. Like some people have a little knob to get rid of you when you're at the ledge. Uh, Cloud will climb up and then he will slash at you. With it, the maximum capacity of his blade. Is there any other get up attack that is that raw? And it had huge range in Smash 4 as well. Like, his get up attack, you could sometimes just pop onto the ledge to use his get up attack as an attack. Yeah. That was, that was uh, something of a menace for get up attack standards. But we carry on, and the back air is something of a bigger menace. That's the set. I hope you enjoyed that uh, classic encounter between Curry Governor and Live Toe. Mm -hmm. Well played. Now, I would like to appreciate one moment where Lito used the invulnerability from his back air to completely negate any pressure that Jermaine could set from neutral. It was powerful, and I gotta respect that. Have a word, no. Go on. into the mic, my good friend. I mean, I've not got much to say. I think I played a lot better than I usually do against him. I just, like, lost the early stocks. Mm, yeah. You lost a couple early stocks, allowing him to get a lead, and... Nope. 
You just can't snowball from there. Yeah. I think my neutral was a lot better than usual. I wasn't making the stupid mistakes he usually punishes me for. Yeah. I, I would have to do really that. And I was trying to parry more, like, while thinking about it. Yeah. Thinking sure is hard. No, I'm not very good at it. Yeah. No, but that's because, that's because he's good at mixing up his timings. Absolutely. Like there, was, like there were situations where I was actively trying to get in a position to parry him, mm -hmm. but I didn't get into them very well, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh well, it's what it is. Yeah. Good no. In games, I've got to grab my Alright. Lunch time for the game. Well, I am just going to sit here until Kieran gets back. I preach because if he tried to kick you off, then you have every right to kick him back off. Not really, it should be me who's disappearing as I sound gradually, gradually more ill, but I'll at least wait for him to get his hot. Why is everybody ill all of a sudden? I don't know. Like, <laughs> honestly, I might just have to cancel Lighthouse this week. You're trying to do a Lighthouse this week? I was gonna, well, see, we're watching the Sonic movie tomorrow. Oh, and right, I was going to yeah. maybe have people around afterwards to for drinks, but I might just cancel it if everybody's ill. Yeah. And do it next week for my birthday. Yeah. Woo! I, would de uh, I can definitely pre-reg for that one. It's next week. Shut up, Kieran. Happy. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, so my birthday is next Saturday, which is actually like after, after I break up from work, well, from school. Ah, so that you can get as drunk as you like. Uh, yeah. It's supposed to be up to on a Saturday anyway, but you can get really, really drunk. So, who do we have on next? Who the, why is Mish, oh, whoever's, who's this, is it Mish's? So Mish has the, um, the two finger scrolling thing, like the wrong way around. Oh, oh. Me. oh I want to see Mom versus Spooky. That's already happening. So it's probably going to be Airborne versus Chex. Ben, are you going to do the set rocket or oh, yeah. one rubber? So, Airborne is going to be going Robin, while Checks, I imagine, will be going Sephiroth. Uh, Check versus Airborne. Uh, let me just change that to Robin. Oh, Jesus, where is Robin on this? There we go. And he uses, he uses it was the yellow one, wasn't it? Yeah, weird choice. He used to use the green male Robin, which I strongly disagree with. Yeah, I like that he just picked the worst skin for the male Robin while still being male Robin. Like, I was, I was like having a rep for the Robin that was ignored at the time before we got other multi-gender Fire Emblem characters for people to fawn over, specifically the last. Now oh, Robin, male Robin gets a bit more hype, but Airborne Archer has left it behind because he specifically can't deal with the fact that green Robin doesn't have green hair anymore. Oh. Well, they gave him better hair in this game, but he can't deal with All I will that. say about the, the female uh, ma uh, main unit kind of thing is, I've played uh, three houses with both male and female Byleth, and female Byleth has the most incredible, disappointed face. I'm like every, every, every conversation uh, she has in a support with, is just her being like, I, she just looks really disappointed with everybody. Whereas the male Robin is just kind of like bland no, no. and that. Yeah, so think, for that reason, I prefer female Byleth. What is it? I think Byleth is probably the Fire Emblem character that's ended up with the most focus on the guy, actually. Because even though everyone was hopping straight to the last immediately, at least we then had MK Leo single-handedly tip the balance. Yeah. And as we know, the best player determines which one's the most popular. As you saw with Pink Robin in Smash 4 by uh, Redacted. Yeah, especially because best player MK Leo was also specifically picking a violet skin that's referencing his ultimate form. So, Kieran is coming back on comms. Goodbye. Don't, he's, hot, he's got half a hot dog. Callum, come the chair. Hello, I'm sorry. Oh, I can't look at that amount of ketchup. That's making me feel grim. I didn't put it on. I, are you enjoying it? I don't care. You don't care? Yeah. You paid money for it, man. 
Yeah, I paid money to enter this well, tournament and then I didn't enter it. But so we're all just look at our finances and then look at a gutter in the drain. Like I paid nine pounds to plug my controller into a switch, and you paid two pound fifty for ketchup canal. Well, oh, you know what? You can't say fairer than that, then. Let's have checks and airborne our chair. But the other way around. Wouldn't that be funny? Right then. Can Airborne Archer overcome his temporary main and prove that Robert was correct all along? Or will the expensive perfume of the DLC uh, tempt him back once again? I don't know what that accent was, but that's something we're going to have to see in the video. When I'm like this, I can't even do my own voice properly, so I'm just... You take what you can get, man. Uh, that's the argument. Yeah. Now, the check is going to have one of all Axel's ideas. Got any pressure than that initial uh, Yeah, just now. the Ark Thunder's coming, it's not anymore. <laughs> very true, my You get scared of whatever he says. <laughs> Um, how did Chex lose that sock? Uh, he was coming, coming from above, great mix up, and then got caught by fully charged usually on Robbie's side uh, when landing. Very important. And now, hail Sephiroth time. Oh, never mind, it certainly seemed like Sephiroth time. Uh, but the clocks tick forward. We're on daylight saving times again. It means I need to stay up until 1am to watch BattleBots instead of midnight. That was a nice little phase. <laughs> <coughs> you hate what, Kieran? Say I, it with I your chest. I hate daylight saving time. I hate daylight saving time. <laughs> Good save. The fact that he had to air dodge that, <laughs> that up there when he was so far away. Oh, There's an excellent little mix-up you can do with up air. You can uh, double jump up air and then fastball. It should catch most air dodges. It's just really nice. Oh, when you grab, when you miss the, that, uh, the back end. Oh, oh, you have to hear me when I say this is zoning the so much pressure. Chex has just been shoving this point. It has no way of getting up. It's insane. Do you think if he went for an Octa Slash, it would have delayed the timing enough to uh, actually get the hits there? I doubt it, but that is entirely impossible, my good friend. Sephiroth is great at it. Like, throwing, Sephiroth is great at throwing his hitboxes out and just Controlling the stage, controlling space. I've got to say, everyone's doing an excellent job of that himself. Covering so many opportunities to check it. Doesn't have to. Oh, we've got to appreciate that forward air. We've got just under the stage of a wave bouncer side beat, really, please. Fire! Fire! Oh. The man has just been on fire, aerial, one landed, and then another off fire. I'm not happy to see it. I'm just not happy to see it. The front of back air does very good. How does check time to show what he can do in the in this corner? Oh, we've seen another one on side beat in that forward air. And he just catches the ball. Opportunity to manage to mix up his running. So we can so avoid the arc fire. Aware of that arc fire that he just jumped away. No way he's getting those feet. He's throwing out his sword so much. Got a little bit of that. Uh, Mind. 
for this retarded. Here you go. Alright, you must say. Well, okay, well played on that F2, catching the neutral get up. But I do understand the more you come. The control that everyone is exuding from Arc Thunder is insane. It's really impressive, and I think this is anybody's game right now, and he could just steal game two just from one mistake. It, it, it's really impressive. Heading into game two, I think Airborne has. I think it was probably just a massive stage. He has done great neutral stage for him. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just checking, right? No, I think he checks again. Excellent opening. Just put some more side beat. I mean, you see it there. That will do a great job to avoid him. Retreat straight back to that. Find that back at you. Really nice that on the top. That one charge is a bit too early, not gonna find that down too much good. Or you know what, Chess is actually finding his immunity right now. Okay, back into the corner you go. And sadly uh, misses the two frame opportunity. Check is gonna have to wait that much with one slam safe. If we found it, not quite. Check stands straight for a bit more. Maybe you can carry one there, so you know. Check one back there, catch. Shit, that was such a weird trade. Great pressure there by uh, New Speed. Get out. There was no way to check to get back on the same thing. Finds the SCI. Very cool. Uh, maybe unfortunately SCI, but uh, lack of SCI rather from checks there. Well, is a free stop in the bag. Really safe. Oh, he's eating stuff right off the side enough for Raw to only be able Wow, from the book to confirm this. I've not seen that. And the DI on this man is letting him live. Wow. And, and just throwing out his neutral just to have a safe, uh, safe way back to the really clean. Neutral right covering both options. Chex is really struggling right now, holy shit. This is insane. Like, with Sephiroth and the one win, like, mechanic, this isn't exactly cool. It's gonna be hard for him. He's gonna have to work very hard to find him out. Oh, is, this could be, this could be it. Not quite, okay, there we go. Find the up Now, is that that one? Is, is, is that up there? Is that up there? So if we're gonna uh, bring it back to check, you only see. Probably not enough that uh that one. Holy shit, that was really scary just seeing that charge in neutral. And he catches the landing once again. In two goes web on I think that game two really showed that. The game three is gonna be hard for checks. I think everyone probably has a download, and yes, the the Robin is kind of popping off. It's scary. It's really scary. Running back to PS2, in any classic. No changing character, no insulin, no nothing. Checks stay into his guts. Hopefully that pays off for him. Yeah, like I said, last game, roll opening off of the side beam is one thing that Sasson might want to get off those platforms. No, finds that arc fire. Ooh, gets a small reversal from there. Did not know you could mash out of that. 
Into the back air, really quickly, just showing them into the corner. Another confirm. Oh, missing his two frame opportunity. That was really sad. Of the out of all of Sephiroth's like ledge shopping tools, it's the most inconsistent and most committal, so it's not the best to go for. I, I'd say it's the best mix up out of, all, out of all of his ledge shopping tools. I was just forcing him to sit in the corner with neutral and side being really scary. Allow him to come back stage safely. That's nice. Wow, that was the uh, smash input of back air, I believe. That sealed the deal really early. Okay, no one else for audio for you. Jax just said, no, I'm gonna dash attack through that. And the up smash to cover behind him. Up smash is the second slowest aerial that, uh, not aerial, smash attack that Seth has at 23 frames, and it's just a great option to just throw out when you don't know which, which option your opponent's going to go for. Really strong there. Hopefully we can see more green to work, uh, green to work. Uh, I wish I knew the name, but the smashing input of up has really gave me a lot of space uh, for either way. Uh, Is it risky to burn that? I have no idea. That's what someone say. He's pushing his lead even further with most for Ratu. He's separating them so much. Incredibly worse. Excellent to get around that neutral bit. Nice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time I've ever seen Airborne's Robin, and I'm enjoying the show. It's very fun. And. I'd say a lot more stronger and powerful than it's set. Familiarity, comfort. Helps me. Oh, great shot. Uh, fast forward to just avoid the arc fire. Really gonna see the deal from. Especially at that percentage. Uh, no, I mean, he did not lose the ditto at all. Oh my god, that was excellent view reverse uh, from Chatsy. Find that small, small little side view. Probably stealing uh, Evelyn's jump from the process. That was so much damage, holy shit. So raw. I'm not gonna get the Nairo uh, bait. Do that. Oh my god, that was. Such a large hitbox, I did not know that I did not know it comes that far behind. Insane. Hopefully that was a miss on the air smash. I don't think he would have gone anything from it uh, in my opinion. That was an interesting mix up on the neutral B. Not quite gonna find some art. Interesting nonetheless. A really clean uh, shield cancel. Checks there on charging me. Reduce all the commitment that he had. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, again. How long are we I'm not going to find it with F help. Oh, that was the last possible hit in back out. That's the last one we'll get back here. Okay. Ready to back to both guys. This is a very scary situation. Anything Seth can do is definitely going to kill. And I think Robin's going to need a bit more setup or a bit more resources to find kill, but... I had no idea that killed. Holy shit. Well played to Airborne for seeing the deal. 
That was clean. That was really clean. Legends on stream, so any goats, if you, if, uh, if I may. Hello, Jack's, uh, Jackie, join me in commentary. Uh, it's true, I'm here, I'm, I'm talking about the video game. You are, I'm very thankful you uh, joined me. Fresh off a, a couple friendlies with Jermaine, where he beat me at the video game. How know. did that go? Like, what do you feel Colin Coe's playing? Oh, I mean, he's, uh, he's good at the game. It's true, consistent. True. Uh, that I, that I, is true. I don't feel like I could make a judgment about it to be honest. Alright, let's see this. This is uh, this is the T-side special, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let, let's see how this opens up. Two players that really react to each other, really pay attention to the way you can play. And are good at the game. Mm, very true, they are very good at the game. They have uh, spent a lot of time playing against each other in friendly. I'm oh, already in the Oh, you can really... gonna get the reverse one, actually, so. But you can really attest this, like, like, okay, it's not there anymore, but you can really attest that opening lead to just the explosive washdown that Roy and Trilby exert all the time. It's it is powerful. It's scary. True. Yeah, Connor is very, very good at exerting pressure. Plays the character that's really good at exerting pressure, mm -hmm. and... You know, it doesn't matter how good you are at the game, if your opponent beats you twice, uh, you might take 70 or die to one. And, you know, this is about. I don't think the dying is really consistent uh, yes. more than taking 70, but it's not a buffer to up smash on a shield. Deal it was, out. yeah. Just, you know, a good punish on an unsafe move, kind of getting a little bit antsy to get a punish off. I mean, not quite going to get a conversion off that, but. I'm gonna say that's gonna be up B. It wasn't. That up B has armor on frame four. It's uh, I know, but like, it's I, really, really good for that. I, I was expecting more of like an up B out of shield and like, no shield. So. It's just really good for catching really safe aerials because it yeah, reversals because it has armor on frame four and then you get 20% and they get like six. So. Isn't it 21%? It is. <laughs> it's enough. Jermaine extending yeah. this lead though, playing really carefully as he does. I think uh, you know a lot of what he likes to do is make people get antsy on him and uh, and punish him. Different. And there you go. Caught, caught a really explosive oh, dash in. And uh, he's looking to close off the second stop. <laughs> really, really good wow, rounded up. Almost gonna seal. Uh, and it'll be a kill. It will. Max rage. I feel like that sometimes. Suddenly, sir. Uh, you know, if, if Connor can get one, 
one combo. This might be looking pretty easy. Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Up uh, now, up till. Down smash is. Down smash is like down at. Pretty yikes in the moon. It's, it's very good. But there's an up tilt. I have that happen a couple times today. Sometimes your up here doesn't stop. You get a little antsy, you might be a little too early, and that's what happens. You see, we'll watch your main. Okay. Suddenly it's looking neutral again. Fun is in the corner, but they're not going to the corner. I would have so. to say that was an excellent up beat. Just, uh, I think that was a picky one, so he would like, make sure So he'd go past the ledge and hit. Yeah. To reduce any chance of an uh, edge guard or a shot. Really strong. God. Jermaine is impossible to edge guard. It's, it's a fact. The opponent's getting a little bit predictable when you dash in, dash out. Understandable. They're just getting a little bit antsy. It happens. I'm hoping to find that pick up hitbox and up smash, sadly. I feel pick up hitboxes are really inconsistent. They definitely are. Rose is scared. See if Jermaine can finish this out. Doesn't get the chump time and misses it a little bit. And he kept it for that. That's up. That was really, really good. It's a total really, really good back to die. And it There you go. Gave him a second chance of going. You know, Connor playing really, really solid, but Jermaine just has a couple of aggressive habits over the aggressive dash he's in, and, you know, punishing that with limit across the ice that game. Oh. I think, you know, his dash in, dash out is really, really good at punishing mm -hmm. predictable approaches. And Roy, mm -hmm. you know, the name of the game is mixing up the approach. Yeah. What about right. stage we're going to go to? Smashville? Yeah, I Smashville thought it was going to be all PSG. Oh, sadly no dual, uh, dual in the face. Dual in the face, yeah. That's it. Like, well, I think like that's all this setup. Kind of Hopefully, Roy, uh, Roy, uh, Connor can learn from like his, you know, dashing in too much and yeah. getting punished. Yeah. Uh, sorry, that. Oh, well, sorry. New game. New, new fresh set of three stocks and a Roy in disadvantage. Not anymore. Um, New stage. Uh, and Connor looking to get a conversion. What can either of these okay, what can either of these players get off of that middle platform? If no one asks you. Say that again, sir. Okay, what can they get off of the middle platform? Oh, I mean, no, it's combo extensions. Cloud, Cloud will get another couple up airs. You know, he might get extensions off his there and other stuff. Roy gets oh. crazy shitloads of up airs. It's, it's nice. You are. Uh, make it back. Main sort of, you know, comfortably in the lead. Uh, trying to hold that lead. Uh, really, really good at air dodge. That's what I noticed from Jermaine, is he's always really, really good at air dodge at the ledge. Yeah, just to conserve one. It's really tough. And just because his up is really easy to two frame. That's it. Well, yeah. let's see how much damage will he get off that. You see, there you go, get some extensions yeah. off the top lap. I saw another one earlier that uh, kind of bleeded into that uh, stop the obliterator. Which is really sad to see. Really good patience in Pac-J situation as well. It seems like the main just does nerves of steel. It really does. I think well, it's got excellent timing and knowing when to do stuff. Exactly. Like, that is a habit that takes many years to learn at home. And we have to respect the main for putting the timing in getting it. And a really sick side be off ledge. That was, that was really good. Oh, regrab. The main doesn't punish it. I think you just get some more which may yeah. fold them out in the long one, but who knows? No, who might have comment? I'm just your local shit. <laughs> your oh, local you shit. Oh my, that was unfortunate. She was really trying to bait aggressively out of the corner, trying to get down to trying to get a bit of a reversal, and it ends up working. You're sending his lead a little bit. Seems like Connor's getting a bit antsy. Tech? Yes. That's the tech, it's okay, but you means to keep going. Yeah. Another upbeat. We're not going to see a repeat of what happened on uh, Meltdown. That was really unfortunate to watch. Streets versus the main. Upbeat at the like, streets. Uh, main court streets. Uh, like out leg. The main upbeat and it killed streets at zero. Just set him completely off. No tech situation at all. Yeah. It's really sad and unfortunate. But... Let's see what Connor can do to get back in against him. Doesn't seem like time in an in disadvantage. Got a really long way to push, but hopefully it'll happen. I'd like to see more of this set. Of course, it's best of five. Really, really good up here as well. Pretty good narrow on the path as well. So safe with the cross up. But now it's going to be Jermaine trying to catch on the habits, trying to get that finish flow. That is not going to do gonna it. Be it. Really not with the aerial version. Oh, yeah. It's legal, yeah. The majority of them are. Oh, so he's gonna do a really good job of bit now. Like, he has a habit, but not quite gonna be enough. Still, he's 
still alive, though. The GI is still uh, alive. That is a lot more horrible in distance on it than I thought. Wow, excellent conversion off of a weak up air, I believe. Really? It was a weak up air jab. Yeah, weak up air jab into the back air, real clean. I believe in Connor's ability to, to, get, to get that head into the game. But I think Jermaine believes in the ability of Fortune. It's true, that move is a hate crime. It, it causes problems. I think it's a little less than a hate crime, because... No, like, it is. No, no, no. Min Min's a hate crime. Min Min is racism in Connor. That is slightly less than Min Min. So... Okay, I'll give you that. Max uh, Roy is a scary individual. That's really, really true. True. Yeah. I can do nothing but agree with you, my guy. Yeah, we cut fair Jack, killing it like 70 LA against Cloud. He isn't light either. Yeah, Cloud's the middle of the road. 100, uh, 100 weight? Excellent. Is he? I thought he was heavier than that. He's 100 weight, and that's why a lot of people use him in training mode. Because it's like just the middle. Because uh, he also doesn't fall like super fast. That's a fair point. Never really thought about that. Yeah. More scarier than Kazuya. I don't know about that, Chief. I think you've got some Kazuya, distorted okay, ideas. Kazuya with rage is scarier than Roy. Roy, just in general, is scarier than Roy and Kazuya. <laughs> I don't know rage about that. Rage is really game. scary. Rage is really scary, my guy. Anyway, in game three, I mean, yeah. he's got a... No Kazuya on street, so let's stop commenting. Yeah, 2-0 lead. Gonna get a bit of an extension. Already looking like Jermaine's favorite a little bit. Catching on his defensive habits. Well, excellent patience on the hook. And we'll see. Doesn't get the shot. He gets up between the hits and cross That was really, really nice. And really good reaction tech chase as well. Oh, this guy out. That was really nice. But I think um, Jermaine's ability to read people's habits during yeah. offensive situations is, um, is really what they have. Well, oh, I'm just going to the first start. That's a really good side. You didn't mention at this stage, small side bar sounds. It's going to be easier to kill off the side with Joe, uh, for Ward. Yeah. Right, Joe? Well, side B kills insanely early in this stage, and forward smash is still a kill option. Real scary. Let's see what Jermaine can do to get this back. I'm not Excellent. quite going to pick up the combo. And, and there like, we are, back to even. Yeah, like you said. Uh, smash for game. Platform, just allow him to get a combo extension and kill. A little bit, gotta respect that. Really, really nice combo train. Good job through the way for a grass option. That's gonna be the storm. That was beautiful. That was, that was so sick. That was really nice. I didn't expect to see that in the loop, right? That was hot. Oh, Connor is angry, throwing out the F smashes, as they do when they're angry. We'll see if they can uh, make one of those connect. Try and try and steal a stock. Try and do some robbing. Entirely possible with this guy. Really scary. Yeah, Jermaine is really good at the game. It's uh it's true. I just wanna appreciate uh Connor being aware of the side you're not gonna fully connect if he did forward or down. So they went into the, uh, so they went into the up version, it was just connected anyway. And allowed him to get like a bit more space and more pressure. It's, it's really, really good for putting people in uh, situations. That's another side we can Harry. Wow. Really, really nice. They are really showing us like why they why they picked this up. Can I see what happens? Being on platforms is a scary situation against Cloud. Jermaine's not going to capitalize on it though. Yeah, he's... Playing patient. Same as it's been on... Oh. That was so unfortunate. That's that a, really, a unfortunate. really, really side way for that side to go. But... Well played to both players are really strong and kind of beautiful gameplay on Jermaine's part. But also, nice, explosive, like, advantage from Joby. Yeah, Connor played really solid. Connor is These a solid player. Happen. Jermaine's a solid player. We love them both. Yeah. That was a fun side to watch. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking go. How's it going, Chief? Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> Best of three or five. 
Okay. I wanted to commentate with you. How dare I? <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have, a, we have an excellent set for you lined up. We have Mini Mo. Uh, from what I've seen recently, he's been dabbling a bit more with the, uh, the, the stuff off, and I can appreciate that entirely. But no, we're going to see some more, which is fair. And we're going to see the classic Shrek ZSS. This isn't winners' finals, I would like to get that accurate. This is loser's semi. Semi? Yeah, loser's semi. Yeah. Okay. Pretty even okay game so far. Oh, I've seen some GSS classes in the game that are bad. Like, uh, yikes. I'm just gonna hope I spelled that right. No, anyway, sorry about that. Ooh, luckily I didn't miss the first stop. Oh, very nice. Patches him on the miss tech and a really nice guy from Mo to not die there. I'm really aware that he just could die and it's not. Anyway. I can play some Satan and Shield. I'm not gonna get anything off that uh, kind of winning and exploitable recovery, but it's a nice use of it for the moment. The situation for the people rage on deck from both players, and that is going to kill it this percent. Wow, that was scary. I'm the dark attack. Catches him on the neutral attack. Really great awareness from Mo. And the double dance. Wow, Mo's just pushing his advantage so hard. He does not have to worry about anything except that up smash. Be it God. So he's getting a little bit of a conversion off up throw. So nice. And the absurdity of having a one frame jab is insane. Yeah, that made sense as a sentence. Not gonna kill, uh, kill quite yet, my guy. Unfortunate. Mm. Really good parry, and then gets the up air into the back air to seal the deal. Okay. Really clean game one uh, to Mo. That was really excellent advantage in my opinion on the second star. Beautiful chef's kiss. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, just confirm this is indeed best of five. So, we get to see a run back on the most any stage out there with the best set of ever. Oh, Ooh, see some cars here. Now, Shrek's cars here has been known to pop off. Uh, that, it's... It's the ice. I didn't tell him to go cars here. I didn't tell him to go cars here. Mo hates the cars, but... Mo, Mo, Mo and... Shrek here was grinding uh, last night at Jackie's house, and hopefully he got a little bit of a download on the cars. Seemingly he hasn't. But you know, it's the start of the game, way too early to tell, but... Letting the dash attack, no please, and confirming into Ethel from there. Excellent. Wow. Bad situation. Oh, and the short hop to laser. Great awareness to know that would connect from Shrek there. Oh, 
great pressure from the laser to uh, Nad, just making sure that his space is his space. Moe's definitely going to need that. Double jump out of the ledge, pretty risky, but seemingly working for him. Oh, and he got Shrek in his own ledge. Armor through the laser, really unfortunate. I'd assume that was a, a miss input and wanted to be reversed, but the bot only knows. Okay, playing it patient in that weird little ledge situation, getting the forward that. Shouldn't track to. Wow, coast to coast with that F2. I'd say. Okay, I'd say Bolt's really scared of Cosmic's burst potential, which is. Very, very apparent. Um, it's absolutely one of the best uh, like, bursts in the game, in my opinion. Like, that and uh, Steve, in my opinion. Kazi was raped. Never mind. Commentator's curse, I ruined it. Uh, I was gonna say, Kazi with rage, really scary situation, can kill you off with one interaction. But, you know, Mo said, no thank you. I don't wanna have to deal with that. You don't want to have to deal with it. Okay. I think that was a little bit of a burn check on that double, uh, that double, double forward forward, uh, uh, A from Shrekra. Just, just to make sure you can get that input right. Could have been a miss input. Mm -hmm. Ace was really invalidating a lot of Kazi's kit right now. Holy shit. Really playing it patient and getting the grab off that neutral ghetto. I'll applaud that. Okay. Oh, he catches him. I was gonna expect a. Uh, you know what? I ain't gonna say it, but you know what I'm gonna say? That was a really clean uh, to up smash. Worth saying Shrek is really clean with those two right now. The only out of shield option he has being an insane out of shield option. Kazuya, such a weird character. Running electric, is that going to be the one opening he needs? Seemingly looking like it, he just completely eviscerated the lead that Mo had. Small 40%? <laughs> Shrek says, okay, I'll have my own 40% lead, thank you very much. Now I'm 60. Really scary. Great awareness, uh, awareness from Shrek that just cancel the jabs early, so we wouldn't get the third, the third one. Because uh, you knew that, like, he's in the air, he's off the platform, it's not going to confirm it to the like, third strong here. Wow, that was a great recovery from Shrek there. Not, uh, kind of unfortunately, maybe beefy, but you know, uh, didn't quite smack the ledge from that side beep. But he still his double jump, allowing him to double jump. And I get straight back to the uh, stage. Perfect. Okay, he's back into the kill. Not quite, Kazi is a heavy boy, and Shrek knows how to DI. That was unlucky uh, turn on my crap. That was kind of sad. Kazuya Mishima indeed did win. Are you seeing it? Oh, he's seeing more Kazuya. Uh, <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna say this is kind of weird, but it's seemingly working, so I can't judge Shrek on that. And you know, his cards is scary. It does cause it is in general just scary. I'm not gonna find that electric sadly. I'm all getting the clean up that off of the grab. Nice. The awareness on that DI to catch that forward out, really nice. But wow, not gonna get the sweet spot. May have just killed him. Not quite, cause Kazuya really strong recovery for an FTC character. But hey, it's just worth it, and it works. 
As the players are feeling themselves out, I'm kind of feeling out the zone to jump in and speak my shit. Oh, unfortunately, I missed that up smash. I do believe I was a confirmed it. Kind of electric. Oh, wow, that was just roar as fuck. And um, Kazuya you know, Classic down throw into bullshit. But that's not going to be enough bullshit for Shrek to feel how the earth. Rage is on. Rage is on rock right now for the track. Really fucking scary. Reflector, really nice. That's so unfortunate. Alright, he misinputted the, uh, the gates of hell. And it just meant that as soon as low interacted, just a Really sad. Wow, okay. Uh, especially alleged that is going to kill. And especially the sense of track of that. Lord fuck. Bomb is a funny thing. Bomb is such a funny concept. Uh, uh, I love how Kazuya's up air is the equivalent of Snake's up tour, but in the air. It's insane, it's only frame 4. It's free for mind you, right? It's fast and it's powerful. Insane. Oh, missing that Jova situation. Really sad. But <laughs> most in out of laser and Shrek was like, fuck it, I have my own laser. I'll just reply. <laughs> wow, getting grabbed losing ray charge, really unfortunate. Ooh. Really scary situation folks, and I'd say for evil players right now, Shrek can die at the smallest touch almost, but, you know, proving me wrong, but, you know, still, and, you know, Kazi is Kazi, Kazi is scary, alright, one interaction, could feel the deal from Mo. Recovering to ledge, really nice, playing a patient, and, and my, I think Shrek almost proved me right, but then Wolf back air exists, so you know. You know, well played from what players and unfortunate drop from Shrek there with that uh with that with those electrics uh, at the end. But hey, well played to Mo. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're not seeing any ZSS after that first game. I'm, I'm kind of loving it right now. That, that's fun to watch. I would much, ra I'd much rather commentate Kazuya than ZSS. There may be a lot of moves to remember the names of, but hey, Kazuya's funny. Uh, okay, getting the punish off that uh, jab on the shield. I think Mo's just gonna have to like, run away, honestly. Run away, set up his own uh, laser, and, you know, catch, uh, catch Shrek in a whiff situation, and, you know, get his open. Oh, and he said for juggle! But now now said no. Now now said no to any further juggle, but a little less extension for Mo. Gotta respect it. Okay, there we see run, him, him running away, setting up his zone, really nice. back and he gets the stun I wow okay that was something I I did not know that was gonna happen I knew it could happen of course but you know you know okay Mo strikes back with the back end seals the deal gets the stock even up and is now extending a lead of 60% that's like one Kazuya combo Ooh, unfortunate trade there keeping him in the corner put him on the wall and got the grab Really nice. That up there is insane! Oh my god, okay. 
No two frame. No two frame. I think the spacing was a little off. Uh, I know it's got a disjoint, but it's not that big, right? Please. Okay, Shrek's in the corner right now. We've seen him get out of these situations, but not today. Not today, not this stock, not right now. Hopefully not the, hopefully not, not this game, if that makes any sense. Because, you know, Shrek, you're gonna need to have to get out of the corner if he wants to win. Okay. Another juggle situation, getting an extension off the platform. Lovely. Keeping track where he wants it. Using that heavy weight was really good, uh, really to his advantage there, Mo. But you know, at the percent Shrek was at, he could not bring Mo to any higher percent and then get a kill off of his health. So it, it's, it's better to just rip it out and get that free 40%. It's nice. No after it from forward. Uh, okay, no, uh, no two stop, uh, two frame, unfortunate. Ooh, the parry on that, really strong. The parry on that, and again, not gonna find the up smash. Uh, I don't know if he doesn't know the timing or it's a spacing issue, but it's really unfortunate. Anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen, won't his cars, it's scary as fuck, and Wolf back air do does exist. Both of these players are gonna have to respect the other's space, and really just. Okay. Wow, that was really, really clean. Taking it to game five. This is insane. Boom. It is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Game five, Kazi. Let's go. I think, I believe in this game, Mo is really gonna just have to play lame if he wants to get a consistent lead and just push it. Oh. Oh, oh, whiffing and both grabs are unfortunate. Small little juggle, but it's it's nice to set up some scent, which is good. But hopefully against Kaze, you, like, against Kaze, you really want to set up a lot more scent. Wow, game is spinning you into left hook. Okay. He's going to need to set a really nice pressure here, and he doesn't quite set it. That's unfortunate for Mo, but back air doesn't work for him. Really nice. The invulnerability from, like, uh, the startup of that move, making it so that Mo's just, like, arrows didn't do anything there. Allowing him to get an unfortunate trade. Okay, great Tomahawk grab from Mo. Setting up into an excellent juggle situation here. Mo is playing really well, in my opinion. Alright, got him in ledge and chooses to use his little gun. Very smart uh, right now. Because, uh, like, it would catch me, get it perfectly. Looking at, the, like, looking at the score and looking at the situation, uh, you'd, al you'd almost forget that ZSS was even, you know, used in this set. It's insane. I'm not going to find the F2. That would be sad. But, um, two frames, right? Crash uh, crashes through and gets the grab. No spike on that. No spike on that. Spike box is buried way too far in Kazi's shoe for it to do it. Like anything majorly consistent, but oh my god. Shrek has a stock lead, rage, and is Kazi on Mishima. This is a very scary situation right now. And Mo just said goodbye to all of that. Really well played reversal on his part. Gotta respect that. Oh, he's not getting any more that opening, really unfortunate. Mo knowing when to. Shield that. It looks almost as if Shrek is a punching bag for all these wolf combos and air to -air. Hopefully he can prove us wrong. And that's, yeah, he did. He lost his jump, got, uh, got hit, and he just died. That was really unfortunate, but well played for both players. Uh, well 
Fun to Shrek DSS in that one game, but honestly that Kazi was really fun to watch. for you ladies and gentlemen. All right, we have two kings of the north who are just gonna, all right, one can play fairly lame because, you know, his character just allows him to. But Mo has an extremely strong advantage state. Hopefully you can see that, but you now, moving on to my second point, Toby's already showing that insanely strong advantage state. You know, it's just raw as fuck. Mori allows for that. Small combo. And Chobi gets the reversal step back to the trip. Playing a patient on the side beat to catch that uh that second down because the down smashes are very strong win. We've got to keep that in mind. Not to see the DMV. Mo isn't going to fuck that up, which is really lovely to see. Well he shows the like the strength of most uh wolf. If I do say so myself. Yeah, really good at the get uh always down to it get off me too. Wow, like you see it again. Alright, I, I do believe that uh, that time. It was more so minimal not quite gonna find the pa uh, not quite finding the parry. And that and that you know uh, caused them to get hit by uh side at the end. Ooh, that was unfortunate. We're not gonna find the second hit of there. Kind of weird, but you know, I've got to say, Chobi spaced that uh, F2 really well, giving him enough space to you know, play patient. But I can say the same from Laura now, spacing really well, finding the achieve frame, and that gap is gonna seal Chobi's second stop. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, anyway, let's, let's not talk about my comps. Let's talk about this excellent game. Is that Nair gonna steal? Okay, that first Nair might not have sealed the deal. Neither did that second one. Okay, I thought it was curtains for Trolley, but hey, never curtains. That just. Wow, the snipe on that neutral, but holy shit. Trolley, uh, not Trolley, Mo is just aware, well, he's really just a professional user of this kit, knowing what it does, you've got to respect that. Trolley, fighting back and getting that kill, and, oh, well played. Really fair, understandable, but almost a comeback on Trolley's part, really sick. Oh, let's go! Let's go. This is... This is a great show, alright? My commentary. I'd say it's hell week. And like, I'd hope I'd be putting on a decent show. But these players, ladies and gentlemen, are, oh, they are providing so much for me to work on. They are excellent players, excellent people. If you're ever in Newcastle, please come to a Newcastle with me. That's amazing. Really fun. Ooh, we're gonna see some Link. Ooh, Link is just sick as fuck. And especially uh, Toby's Link. Alright, let's go to Toby play against some, uh, played against someone from these earlier. And the item play was really nice with the Link, and you know, they just said that they're, fe they're feeling okay. Feeling relatively fine, and hopefully, you can see that. Yeah. 
Maris. Such an obscene tool. Okay, that was really great awareness to set up from the Nina into forward out of that. Really cool. That's just a mistake, nice job, Mo. And, uh, I don't know for certain, but I, I feel, I'd feel safe to make the claim that Link's Nair is probably the longest lasting move in the game. It is insane. Not gonna get a uh, catch that neutral get up with that forward out, unfortunate. In the Nair off, I think Wolf's just won there. He did. Ooh, small little uh, combo, small little conversion, really nice. Really pushing mostly with that. Mm -hmm. But instead of in a scary situation, being in the corner against Link, very scary. Not, not as scary right now as, you know, Bomb was not on deck in that scenario, but hey, scary nonetheless. Hopefully we can see more usage of Bomb and just find some sick, sick conversions off it. Bomb, you know, unfortunately cost the... Uh, will be to get hit by uh, up air on the most part, right? Getting the second bounce off the down air, you know, as saying the mob. Really unfortunate, but no, it's unfortunate that down smash. Like, yikes. That. Oh, how? How does that have, like, this one? He's just a wolf. Like, I granted, a sci fi wolf. Who, you know, can pilot a plane. But damn. The disjoints are criminal. The end lag just allowed me to charge for so long. The guy's playing so patient right now. It's insane. I don't think I catch that landing my guy. But he's gonna catch it. Any air option Trilby had there. Well played on that man. Which is basically only possible by this one. Okay, sticking sticking to the classic right now. This is, we're not going to see any weird mix, uh, like change. Like, same to the rest of the set. But, you know. Okay, what Trump is going to want is he's going to find that one opening off of one whiff and just explode. No. That's a scary situation to be in. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I had a friend made a question and you know, try to let my ear. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, that, like, I didn't know that was up in that direction. I would assume it would be the same as uh, like young links or like links in general, where it sends the direction they're facing. But interesting, nonetheless. I did not know you could get a uh, a back air after that up throw. Maybe that was, uh, you know, not true. A bit of style, but force, but... Hey, what am I to say? Unfortunately, catch, uh, getting a landing there. And it's too... Uh, stuck in unlock. What is that? I'm not gonna get anything off that platform. Really unfortunate. Okay. What a weird trade! Oh my god. Oh, I was gonna mention, wow, nice catch on the up with that down tilt from Trollby, but it traded. I don't understand why. It's just weird nonetheless. I'm just getting a kill. 
You know, it's insanely powerful. Yikes. And, you know, another kill. Back here is the kill tool, is the fact of the matter, and I love how Mo just proved that to us. Probably the trade is not going to find the down air. Really unfortunate. Ooh, but pretty nice conversion on that dash attack from the... Uh, oh, it's up. Really nice. It's uh, This is a really tense set. Mo has been playing insane the last couple of games. Really good advantage, really powerful. We saw a little bit of a character change from Trevor. You know, it's a link. Yeah, I understand the gas. Scary situation, scary moment. Now, this is Tro this is Trobe. This is Roy with max rage. At this situation, anything can happen. It's so scary. I was gonna say, I thought that set was gonna end like 20 seconds ago when he. When I mean, that's a huge stream! Oh, you can hear Troby laughing in the background. That was what happened, unfortunately. That was around like 50 50, but well played. Okay. Oh, well, living rent for you right now. <laughs> so, what's okay. Grand's now? Uh, Grand's is now going to be Mo versus Jermaine. You know, a bit of an ending classic. I know Jermaine's I, really strong. I, I see, here's the thing mm -hmm. Curry being here is the any classic. Yes. There's, there's no doubt about that. When was the last time Mo was in a grand finals when, when Curry was in bracket? Because obviously he won like the last, like the last week. Mm -hmm. When when was it? Honestly, it's been. It's, it has, it, been that it long has happened at one point. It definitely has because well, excellent players can easily make it to grand, loses or win the side. Jermaine's uh, only going to make it to lose the side because of you know, Shrek. But, you know. I'm actually just curious. What's the prize pool at the minute? Do you have any idea? I have no idea. In terms of vanilla coke cans, how much shall we talk? London vanilla coke cans. Uh, I'd say third place is getting free vanilla coke cans. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully, I'm lucky enough to mean, uh, doesn't, doesn't get paid back uh, that that's, way. But, honestly, that's just really the It was funny, it was very funny. It was funny, but this man just barely specked enough into charisma and specked everything else into Cloud Strife. Okay, maybe not enough into Cloud Strife, what the fuck is that? Alright, now, <laughs> opening new grants, welcome to co commentator Craig at the game, yes, I'm Karen, and... Holy shit, we can just see yeah. that most explosive advantage from the last couple of games and sets happening. Absolutely, just that, that alone has forced Courage to just SD off the, off the stage of immediately. He made a mess, He made a mess. Yeah, 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 it was just pure fear. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh not going to find the two for me. No, definitely not. Oh, okay. Don't do it. I love the pressure that Jermaine is creating by just passively going for down B. Alright, knowing that it's like it's it's gonna make Mo know that it's gonna be on back at any time, all the time. It's scary. Yeah, I was talking to um, B Little like a couple of days ago, and he just he mentioned that nobody ever seems to punish like air dodge, air dodge so much. Like I'm not too. I know like the top framing is apparently friendly, it's dependent, how dependent, but yeah, very it's certainly one of those things which needs to be. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> Jermaine, the gentleman, give me, give me, give me. gives a homie stock. Let's bear in mind that um, Mo is yet to take a stock and Curry has taken all of his own stocks um, in, this, in this game. I think it's entirely possible for Mo to steal any stock. Oh, 100%. Like, this is Wolf we're talking about here. Wolf gets one touch. This is Mo we're talking about. Like Mo, and it's also, Mo and also Wolf. Like Wolf gets a touch in certain situations, you can you have a good chance of losing your stock right there and there. Uh, there goes limit. Probably not gonna get limit. Might not get limit for the rest of the game though. No. Unless, it's especially if um, especially if Mo keep, continues like this kind of range, this mid range play. Oh no, he's dead. Not quite. Where's the time yeah. the down? No, you gotta appreciate what Mo just did. Use the slant of the stage slightly to be like, more under the stage and then glide up to left. Really nice. Oh. Oh, oh, no joke! Oh, 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 that stole the game! I want to know whether I want to know whether double jump came out because that was that was unfortunate. <laughs> God damn! You and me both. You and me both. Yep. 
there we are. Back from the adding the L that Mo has just taken onto the UI. <laughs> there we go. Now you at home can see the Valiant, like the Valiant and powerful loser that Mo had just made. Uh, Can we talk about sorry, I'm just noticing. Can we talk about the fact that the characters start not in the direct sense of the platform? I didn't notice that. Well, that's actually weird. That, that can probably do some like small advantage to like builders. Uh, like, I guess if you want to go retreat to ledge like immediately, I suppose. But why would you? It's like why would you do that? Why would you give safe control? Like that? Be stronger for Zona because they can. Oh no! Oh, get out of wow, here! Get out of here! That was powerful. Wow, but of course Scurry knows not to burn his double jump like that. Oh, get... No, I don't, think he, I don't think he wanted to grab a ledge like that. Oh, Oh, no, 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 you don't want to get the stage control of that back there. You don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, empty jump. Oh, now the back... Oh! Back air is the kill move. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess he... Yeah, that was a... That was a somewhat, somewhat big read from Curry there. It was just unfortunate that it just was not the right read, and Mo was able to get the pressure off immediately. But of course, you know, it's cloud. Yeah. Okay. Just cloud things. Jermaine mixing up his like landing. We got to find that back end. Really, really nice. We got some extra though. It's fine. Oh, yeah. This is what we like. This oh, just out of range of the big grab. Such an unfortunate whiff. Oh, big whiff, and now he's supposed to spin limit. Oh, but high recovery. Yeah, yeah, no jump. Wow, that one small whiff, like, Mo was already extending his uh, lead, just with a small combo, but that small up to whiff made it so that it's he like died. Was, it's That's like I was saying before, you get, you get, you get, you get, you get, you get ah, <laughs> you like Wolf, get a hit. Yeah. There oh. they go 60% to a stock, right there and there. It's so just, many characters like that, it's scary. How, why do we play this game? It sucks. Why do we play this game? You should just... That's, what do you think I'll be doing the last, last few oh, hours? Oh, hey, we're not playing this game. We're commentating. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Those two are not. I just play... I play this game for memes now. It's fine. You play on a fight stick. It's weird. Yeah, it's funny. Oh. Excellent jump from Mo to just not die. <laughs> Insanely. Uh, like, early, I'd say. Oh, yeah, not not early to Oh, kind of aggressive to that pop Yeah. Buff. Why did they buff that? Um. Why, why? I think. I think on a business trip that Curry took, he went out to Japan and paid, paid uh, Sakurai like an uh, undisclosed amount to make Cloud better. You know, it seems like it, my guy. And, you know, I know the buffs happen a lot, but Jermaine is just I really am concerned. Oh, good grab. I was gonna say, if he's that close to. Oh, yeah, he, that's crazy that he chose to burn limit instead of air dodge. But then again, Mo has been picking up on that quite a bit. Very true, very true. Ooh. Oh, not gonna find the back. Oh, I respect the attempt. But this is now. This is probably like a one touch situation right now. Oh, there he goes. Hey. Nice back. End. Wow. See how much time I was hit. My own yeah, this is now a one touch game. Back in projectiles is fine, just don't get caught by the back. Oh my word. He's getting tag wrapped a little bit. I wonder if we'll pick up on it. Get the grab from forward there, that's so This bad. is such a scramble. Alright, what's here? Yeah, that's not going to kill. Yeah, we're going to see a limit kill here. Excellent. Oh, no, back we're end. not on the second one. He got back the. End. He, he, he intercepted the first one. He got blocked on there, was not expected the second one. Okay. Wow, okay, now we're gonna have to see a reverse free off. Mo yeah, wants to actually I think reset the It is entirely here. doable, I think. Yeah, with Mo and the pressure they were exerting in game one and game two. Like, game two was a lot closer. Really insane. Um, yeah, it's, it was a lot. I, yeah, but then again, you gotta consider consider that the only reason is that that was a one stop game, last stop game, game one, was because Curry just teed like twice. Hey, hey, Mo made a mess. Though. Mo I made feel. A mess. If you look at it from that perspective, it does seem as if Curry has turned on the gas just a little bit. And so Mo's going to have to do a hell of a lot more to try and make up the deficit now. That will be a good start. If he can get the edge dodge hit, that's it. Yep. Good wow, stop. Simple things like that can explode. Didn't even, wasn't even a regular edge dodge afterwards. Yeah. 
Oh, what? That was incredibly risky. Oh, that was some oh. movement. That was some movement to All lead, right, my God. excellent, oh excellent movement just to bait out the uh, the upbeat recovery. That was crazy, man. That started with movement and ended with movement, right? Because he just moved This is what I was saying. I did end. tell you. I did tell you he's got. Hey, you did. Oh, why did he burn women? That really scary. Yeah, but then again, like I said, the landing line on limit limit up B isn't that crazy, so... Yeah, that, like you, fair point. Fair point. It's... Oh. Okay. You know what's the fair point? Dink. That back air. There again, there we go. On... Oh, hey, Jermaine made him SD. It's really sad, really important. No, not like this. Not like this. Okay. Okay, combos. Yeah, oh, that yeah, Combos and me. The punish. Oh. That was insane! Why did that almost explode? Oh, that could be there! And now he stared himself! Oh my god! No, no. That happened a bit more than we That's it! Nothing hurts more than a close free up. More player. More player. I hate, I hate this video game. I hate this video game too, but I love these people. Alright. That's uh, I. That was. Lovely. I would. I would be able to love love one of them more if they understood how money works and wouldn't spend nine quid on free cans of coke. The no man, one no down. It's fine. It's yeah. all fine. Yeah, that's not. That's. It still doesn't defeat. That doesn't defeat my point. <laughs> that, that is fair. Ah. Right. Oh. Maybe next week someone can um take down the king. Uh, take down the man with a giant ass buster sword. Would you just do a take on me? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yes. I just... Yep. Uh, okay, that was set one and I was in the so we had to set two. What? End the three. Okay. Yeah, you gotta end it. We gotta end it. I know, I know. I was just yeah. like, we could add a couple of They're gonna Mo's gonna I wanted to take it out the rest of his anger. <laughs> Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen at home. Alright, see, I see 17 in the chat. That's lovely to see. Alright, I have been Kieran. And I've been Craig. And Castle. this has been Newcastlevania. The number doesn't matter. This has been Newcastlevania, Newcastle Weekly. And thank you for joining us.